days. I'm taking you through the day today. I only have too much planned, but we'll see. So here we go. Three. It's a Sunday today. I don't really have anything too specific planned. I might do a little bit of a workout today and maybe just have a chill day, like read a book, sit outside, get some work done. But I am gonna make a matcha, so I'll take you along. Like, oh my gosh, I am literally so exhausted today. I have my period, so that's super fun. Let me come back when I look more awake. <laughs> I'm doing all the morning things. I got up a little bit later today. It's like 10 o'clock. So it's right now. You just wish you could have like 2020 vision. Oh, okay. Do so I have a pimple? Oh my gosh, I do have a pimple. I need to wash my hair, but I just, I don't really feel like it right now. So I think we're just gonna do one of these. Oh, I would really need to wake myself up. I just like feel exhausted. You know what I mean? Do I have a pimple? I do. <gasps> I got this gua sha at um, Whole Foods. Actually, also I'm not sure if I do this right. It definitely helps. But yeah, so like I said, I'm in Tampa. I know in one of my vlogs, um, I said that I was only in LA for three months. Well, now I'm there till April. So those plans changed. <gasps> Is that my dog? Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, so yes, I'm home. My brothers live here. My parents live here. My dog lives here. So the gang's all here. Okay, so I don't know where my video stopped, but basically I was talking about how I like to read and I have an iPad and I just downloaded like the Apple Books app and I just buy my books through there instead of like continuing to buy the hard copies of books. I have a bunch of hard copy books, but it's a little more expensive when you do it that way, I think. I don't know. But I'm reading a gentle reminder right now, so I think I'm going to make a matcha, drink my green juice, sit outside, and just have a chill morning. So, here we go. So, this is the matcha that I've been using. Everyday matcha, we love her. Um, so what I do, and this probably isn't the best way to make matcha. The best way to make matcha, but it's the way that I make my matcha. So I grab a little cute cup. I fill this with water, and I put the matcha in there, in here. And I use this to mix it up. Put about this much water, matcha, in there. And then I like to add maple syrup to sweeten it up because the milks that I use don't really have like sweetener and the matcha isn't sweetened. I just like it a little bit. So I use maple syrup. Just put a little bit of that in here. Like that. And then we whisk it. Now we're going to put ice in here. We have our ice. I've been really loving the milk brand because they're super clean. They only have water uh, gluten-free oats and sea salt and then I also got these milked oats which I think also have the same ingredients so water oats and sea salt so we're gonna put this in here I like to put MCT oil in my matcha for your brain health so I usually just put like one two to top it off I just like to add some cinnamon on the top from home, this would probably cost you $8 with everything I added into it. So, cheers. <laughs> I think I might be doing something with my parents because I've been staying at home. I don't know, I think we might be going to eat somewhere or maybe not. I don't really know. There's like no plans. So I'm just, I'm going to do my makeup while I'm on the camera here. So what I've been using is these Pacifica SPF foundations. I just, I mix the dark with the light because my skin's kind of like in between right now. It's not summer, so I'm not tan. So I do a little bit of this. I don't have a mirror right here, so I'm just kind of winging it with the camera. Just gonna see how this works out. But yeah, so my mom had surgery on her back. She had a spinal fusion surgery a couple of weeks ago. Uh, two weeks on the 23rd, she had it. So I wanted to be home for that as it was a big procedure, but she's doing well now. She's on the mend. It's gonna be a long recovery, but she's at least like off pain meds. She's walking without a walker now. Yeah? Hey. 
We're like super, super grateful for that. I was really nervous about the surgery, to be honest, because it was, she had to get three incisions. I've been staying home. I do have an apartment here, like 10 minutes down the road with Nick, but I've been staying at my house because taking care of my mom has been like a full-time job since I've been home. Um, next I'm using the Well People under my eye. This concealer works really well. I do have a mirror. How are we looking? The camera makes me look a lot more pale than I actually am. I don't really know how to do my makeup that well, if I'm being honest. I like makeup, I just like don't know the proper steps. Okay, I'm learning. I wanna be tan again. This makes me feel tan. But yeah, so we've been in California since September. We were only supposed to really be there until um, before Thanksgiving, but plans changed and now we are there until um, April. So yeah. My boyfriend is a travel nurse and the opportunities that he gets from doing that are so much better than just working like remote, like not remote, but in like your hometown, just at the same hospital all the time. And so that's what we've decided to do in our younger years. Now I'm just using some bronzer. I said, I don't even know if this is like right. Is there, is there a right way to do makeup? Okay, then I have just some like highlighter, highlighter stick. I like to use this thing here. On my nose a little bit on the cheekbones i think my two favorite pieces of makeup ever are just like lip gloss slash lipstick and um mascara that's like always been my favorite so i have this sugar honey i'm gonna put some of that on there there we go so now we have this um benefit brow thing i'm gonna use the thing for this one okay now, the mascara that I've been using is also Benefit, the Bad Girl. Um, I like to use waterproof mascara because you never know what's going to happen in a day. Like the weather, emotions. And I also, like I wear contacts and my eyes get dry. And then I put like, I put like eye drops and stuff in them. So it would just ruin my mascara and then like sweat and stuff. So you just never know. Alright, so this is what we're working with, I think. Oh my gosh, my hair. My hair is so... I don't even know. This is the Love Beauty and Planet. I like their products, but I just don't know if there's any more dry shampoo in here. Cute. Cute. Okay. Um, so there's not. <laughs> yeah. This works. Okay, so now I need to figure out what to wear. But I also don't know what I'm doing, so maybe I should figure out that first. And then get dressed. Stay tuned. Going to the gym i did go to whole foods with my dad and with my brother but it was just way too crazy to film anything in there I'm going to the gym now so i'll film the workout that i'm doing i think i'll probably just do like a full body ever since i've been home my schedule has been kind of like off a little bit i've been taking care of my mom and everything so i'm kind of just gonna do whatever i feel like doing i feel like i'm having a poor mental health day today so i'm kind of just gonna do whatever i feel like doing hopefully this makes us feel a little bit better because I don't really feel the best right now, but it's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, hello YouTube. First things first, gotta start the Apple Watch. Sometimes I feel like if I don't wear it, it doesn't count, but I know that's not true. Okay, so we're just gonna do traditional strength training. That's usually what I always, that's like my go-to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do back and bicep slash core workout today. So I'm gonna start with some pull-ups. Here we go. We're gonna try this out. I still need some assistance for this. I like to put on this little resistance band to help. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work, actually. I'm kinda scared. <laughs> okay, that band is not strong enough. I don't know if I can do these here. I can do these, maybe. Two, three. Oh man, that is flipping hard. Two, three. This band is not doing zilch. We're doing one more set here. One more set, and then we're moving on to something else, okay? One. Two, three. Okay, get off. Next exercise. We don't need you right now. So we're grabbing underhand, standing up, and over, roll back. Okay. Okay, I moved it so you guys could see this exercise from the side. When you do this, you wanna stay in this motion, in this position here. Knees slightly bent, you're hinged at the hips, and you're not going like this with your back. You're not hyper extending your back, you're keeping it neutral. Your core is engaged, everything's tight. Reach down, you put your hands about shoulder width apart, stand up, 
right? Then you bend down and then you roll back up and down. Next exercise we're doing is a single arm row. You're gonna be here, the weight on this, in this hand, bent over, roll back up here, down, up, back down. You can also do it this way too, on the back of a bench this way, and back down. Eight reps per arm. Actually, we're gonna do six. Four, five, six. Okay, this exercise is always awkward to do in commercial gyms because usually the benches are always right up at the front with all the weights and the mirrors and the dudes. So if you feel comfortable doing that, that's fine. But if you have access to a bench that's away from an area like that, that's fine too. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna put the bench like this and then you're going to lean up against it this way and you're gonna do I, Y, T. Six reps. I, Y, T is one rep. Don't forget to rest, you guys. Drink some water in between. I should do that right now. Yeah, so I have my period and this workout feels really hard right now and I feel really bloated and uncomfortable. I'm actually gonna put my sweatshirt on. I was having not the best mental health day today. I figured that going to the gym would help me kind of clear my head a little bit and I love filming and working out and it's nice that no one else is in this gym right now so that definitely helps. So anyway, that's the break. We're going to superset that exercise Exercise that we just did with some bicep curls. So I'm gonna set that up and then report back. Seated bicep curls. Okay, I'm doing hammer curls first. Four, four, five. And then I think we're just gonna do some core, probably some of the bike maybe, and call it a day. I finished my workout. I didn't really do that much because I didn't really feel the best, but I did film a whole six week program that I'm gonna be putting in my app. I did film that, so that required some exercising. So yeah, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna eat some food and just kinda chill and relax for the rest of the day. I'm gonna wrap up here, gonna just get some more content and head back home.